Hello, Libra. How are you? It's time for your mid-March to April reading of this current year. It's going to be a Thunderdome. Yay, so it'll be two readings. One for group one, one for group two. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you want a personal reading, my email is down below. I have a cat hair in my nose for no reason. Okay. Anyway, let's go into your eyes. Let me see what you guys are doing. Ugh, you Libra. I'll never understand you. You guys have like a love comes and goes kind of vibe that I'll never understand. Not grounded in anything, but you are air. Hmm. No whammies. All right, group one, let's start with you. We got the devil. It's Capricorn and not yellow. <laughs> oh, those shoes. Queen of Cups reversed in what you're wanting and wishing for, right? Um, Prince of Pentacles reversed in the fears and rejections. Just figuring it all for a stall, huh? Two of Wands reversed in the situation. Five of Swords reversed in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. Five of Pentacles reversed in the catalyst as well as the final result. Beginning theme is the Nine of Pentacles. Identity. Didn't you guys have something? I feel like this is like deja vu. Like I've done this before. Okay, I know I'm being gross, but I'm not meaning to, but that's gonna drive me nuts. Like, the military did not fix me on that shit at all. Okay, um, you definitely want to come out of some stuff, right? Things bothering you in your mind, you're trying to alleviate yourself. But we got the devil right here, and I could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or someone has been in some, like, really bad vibration. Like, maybe they weren't being the best person they should have been you know like look at the signals that like he's sending out here influencing everything which is something that capricorn does easily right influencing everything changing the vibration just with his moods his behavior his actions his words influencing everything it's how powerful we are <laughs> What is this um, devil card, please? But yeah, um, other than like the retrospect Capricorn, that's kind of what the devil does in a relationship. Like there are two people who look like dogs in the bottom, right? Being ruled by this force with such great energy and a great propensity to just leave a stain between them. Almost. Like, it, wow, I'm talking about this really morbidly, but that's literally how it's kind of coming off. It's just seeping in. It's like some sort of corruption, you know? Oh, two gods. I don't know. Okay, so. Here is strength. And strength is restricting themselves. Could also be Leo, right? This Leo could be the devil. <laughs> There's a lot of restriction on their part. Because I, I, I really don't think this, has, this person is Libra at all. Like, this is somebody who is like... Like, yeah, very, very um, influential. I feel like with the devil here looking at this card, it's like they are influencing the lion to close its mouth. Gentle persuasions, kindness, like someone who really knows 
How to look at you kindly. And ask you to put a gun to your head. And pull the trigger. Not suddenly malicious at all. That is a very creepy person. <laughs> like, they have the propensity for that. They're not going to do that. And, you know, like, they're actually really nice. But it's like, there's the, that devil is like, that's dark as fuck. Right? <laughs> and then we have two of wands down here in the situation. You don't know what to do about some manipulations, about walking away, about like looking at somebody walking away. It's like, this person has tempered that devil energy. Cause that's like really creepy to me. Like I, like I, that is severely creepy. But it's, but I'm not weirded out by this person either. But it's like, someone doesn't know what to do. And the two of wands. I want to say about the people who walked away. And like, Five of Swords is over here too. You know, they're both right next to each other. This person doesn't know what to do about the people who walked away. And they're restraining that, like, that negativity from the devil. Because, like, that is um, dark. That is, like, really dark, actually. The way I described it was really dark. It's not. This is like, ah. Uh, like, what is up with this? Like, what is up with this person? But isn't it? It's like, no, wait a minute. They're not trying to, um. I don't think they're trying to use that. I don't think they're trying to use that dark side about them. But I think that they're really thinking about what they want to do about this situation with the Five of Swords. Because it's definitely what's going against them. And it's reversed. So it's just kind of like... Almost like they're reliving that moment of betrayal. Both of them deal with betrayal. Both of them deal with the heart of it. But this is like more like someone is getting stabbed. These people got away. This person is still living in that scenario. This Queen of Cups right here, right? She's reversed. Um, she's got a lightning bolt on her panties right where her baby maker's at. Very David Bowie. -like. <laughs> I can see that. Um, she's really emotional. She's very emotional and she doesn't know what kind of decision to make. Once again, she doesn't know what kind of conclusion to come to. But this is like a want and a wish. So, what is this? Five of Swords reversed. Someone's reliving this betrayal. I am like super duper like. What is this Five of Swords reverse? Because I really kind of want to move away to this side. <laughs> Ooh. Probably someone's recovering from reliving this um, Five of Swords energy. Someone's recovering from it. Someone's healing from it with, with the Three of Swords reverse. Like... I don't know. Whoever that ghost person in this betrayal is, they're recovering from what this person did to them. Group one. I feel like I'm reading for like a serial killer right now or something like this is really like tripping me up a little bit. Prince of Pentacles reverse or the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Offer delayed, stalled, stopped for a time because 
nothing has changed possibly with a Scorpio. This is also a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. As I say, there's a significant amount of Earth in here too, I feel like. Like someone refuses to change. Refuses to give an offer, which is like, hmm. Someone either with Earth or they're just taking that vibe or something like that. And down below, which is the catalyst and final results. Five of Pentacles reverse. Someone wants to come back in from that wilderness where it's hurt them. They've been damaged. They've been attacked. They've been wounded. They want to come back in from that cold environment back into the warmth of that home that they've been casted out of. Or they walked out of. One of the two. Uh, okay because it's a burden it is a freaking burden oh my goodness yes it is a burden to be out in that cold and they just want to come back in so they can end it what is the ending theme oh someone lost balance in who they are and their identity Someone just started fucking swinging. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. Like, someone just started swinging. Like, swing away, Meryl. Like, Cancer's card. Someone might be shutting down emotionally. Someone might be being a little bit aggressive. Going for fights that lead to no victories. Um, in order to keep establishing their Nine of Pentacles. Their identity. Right? Like someone's picking fights for no reason. Not even just for an actual fight, just to start some shit. Like they're mad because whoever this ghost is in the Five of Swords reversed over here is no longer like heartbroken, I think. Because they're definitely watching them walk away. They're sitting here watching them walk away. But the person who was reliving it is like recovering and it's like... Whoever this person is, is so dark. Libra, get away from this person. They're not good for you, man. For real. Like, yeah, nothing's being offered in any of this with this person. At all. Or anybody who's dealing with this. I don't even know who the hell this is. It doesn't matter who it is. Get away from this person. As far as you can go. Because I don't like them. And if I don't like them, there's something wrong. Um, yeah, you've got your guard up heavy, whoever you are. This person right here. There's definitely... Someone is way more paranoid. Than, um... What they need to be in this situation. This is, like, really... This person is just... Yeah, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They do not know how to even get started in order to charge ahead and get their identity and all this stuff. Like, hey, this person's just... Like, there's a lot of people with weird vibes. Okay. Group two, we're moving on to you. What do you have to say about all of this? Like, what is your side? Because it's like, this person is just, <laughs> yeah, they're just the devil. Like, I, I, like, and I'm not that. Fuck that. That person is just, ooh. That is just, ooh. <laughs> like, that's actually kind of creepy. The person is like, weirded me out a little bit. All right, group two, we're going to start with you in three, two, one. The sun reverse. You're not entirely that happy. Could also be a Leo. 
Ten of Cups in the Wants and Wishes. Eight of Cups in the Fears and Rejections. The Star Man or the Magician Reverse in the situation. Mm -hmm. Four of Wands in the Obstacles and Challenges of what comes against you. The Six of Swords in the final... And what started it and what ended it. The finale as well as the catalyst. And the beginning theme is a Princess of Sword could be the Libra or Gemini or Aquarius. Gathering your information, getting on the go, trying to find some stuff out, snooping in order to figure out what it is you're trying to do. Because you might be trying to get away from the person in Group 1's reading. I don't even want to say that it's group one because I don't want to be that guy to be like, oh man, I don't want to be mean and judge people. But it's like that person is like, get away. Don't I don't even worry about like whether you love them or not. Just run. <laughs> Cause like that's that's like Like maybe they're trying to temper their um ways, right? But I don't know. If I would be able to hang on to somebody while they fix themselves, especially if they're restricting what it is that they're doing. I'm just putting that out there, Libra. Or whoever <laughs> with that person. Like, the sun reversed, right? Could be Leo, because I like saying the sun is Leo. Could be unhappy. Could be unhappy. Something could be making you... I feel like there's a cloud in front of your sunny side up cake. Um, could be Queen of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries once again. So it could be a fire sign who's not entirely too happy about things. And then we have this star man reverse where it was like some sort of bad manifestation or something didn't get created right. Or you had some negative thoughts that were manifested and then possibly came to be. Yeah, that's swift and quick. Swift and quick. It's coming. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's coming. Something that, like, could be an Aries, too. Someone could have, like, tried to manifest something wrong, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it's coming quickly. But there's, like, this Queen of Wands up here with the Sun Reverse. It's just kind of like, are you unhappy about this Queen of Wands being in her seat? Looking all pretty with her little kitty? Or is it, like... She's unhappy because she knows things that you don't know. Because that's what she really has. She has knowledge, philosophies, understanding. Oh, it's out of cups. Someone is completely happy <laughs> with what they've done. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, let me look at this. Because I'm probably like just jumping the gun right here. I've recently been reading this like also like a defense card. Right? It is like... Before it was like somebody was watching somebody walk away. But here it's like somebody is happy because they feel like they've defended themselves in some sense. And here is the Queen of Wands looking over it. And it's like they're kind of nodding at each other. Like she's looking this way, he's looking this way. She's like, what up? We did it. You know, it's kind of like that. It's like... Like, she may not be entirely happy, but she is where she's supposed to be. But something came, something's either came swiftly or is coming swiftly that is like a negative thing. Like, something was manifested and moved forward. Um, like a charged ahead. Like, someone's charging ahead with their negative thinking. Almost like to make her unhappy. And I feel like someone's really trying to defend themselves from someone's mental bullshit. Like, they want to be happy. They want to be satisfied with their Ten of Cups. And if they are not the ones who are defending themselves, they're definitely the one walking away from these games. Like, they, they, like it's like someone doesn't want to participate. They might not be happy about the situation, but they got their Queen of Wands, and that's fine. Like, I completely understand that. 
considering <laughs> group one's reading. I, I like, yeah, I, I would probably take my losses too at that point. It's just like, fuck it. Yeah. Um, what's coming against... Yeah, what's coming against some of y'all is, um, what you're thinking about, which is the Emperor, probably the Aries, or whoever the fuck this is, right? It'll be an Aries. Well, someone's got an Aries on their mind. A lot. Someone's focused on someone from... I want to say their past. Someone who's in control. Someone who is, um... Stable, I feel like, a little bit. Like... He's just sitting there bored. He's just like, I need someone to tell me a joke. I'm so bored. You know, like, he just wants something to do, but he has to rule, you know? I feel like someone's thinking of that, like... I almost get a good vibe from him. Like, maybe that's, like, the actual impression. It's just, like, somebody gives you a good vibe, and you have your thoughts on that, but at the same time, it's just kind of like, you know, I gotta go. Like, I gotta make myself happy. You don't make me happy. Then we have the Eight of Cups, right? Someone is focused on the past cups they've had while the future cup that is in front of them is ready to explode because there's dynamite in some of the other cups, right? But this cup on this side is like all cold, right? And it has something to do with a relationship of some sort, either romantic or otherwise, but definitely a connection that is no longer there. That is the fears of rejections. Um, I think someone's afraid that they have to move on yeah, because he's looking in the direction where this guy's standing. Like, he's looking at himself, really like, oh my god, like, what have I done? But it's like... I I, I, I feel like someone... I, like, I kind of want the, the moon... <laughs> I kind of want the moon to be here. I'm just saying, like, it, that would really help or just something. Because it's just like, I don't think you know this person. I don't think you know this person at all. Like, if you're dealing with the the person in group ones, I don't, I don't think you know this person at all. You got the six of swords right here. You gotta move on to calmer waters, man. Fucking go. <laughs> go. 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 Like, okay, hold on. Look at this, right? Look, it, like, th there's a waterfall right here. It's hard to see because everything's gold, but there's a waterfall and the boat's literally on the edge. This thing is pulling this guy off the boat to the edge. And he is trying to hang on. And he had cast swords there to help protect him from being pulled, I feel like. Or, or it's something. I don't know. I feel like that's what's happening. I could be wrong. It could be blowing on him, but I don't think so. I think it's actually trying to pull him in. And it's like, no, dude, I gotta go. This place is bad. No, I gotta go. Like, But it's the Six of Swords, this beginning and this end of having to move out to calmer water. That is an executive decision. <laughs> that is the Queen of Swords right there. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be the Libra deciding to just go on ahead and be like, fuck this, I'm out. Just move away. And then we have the Hermit Virgo's card. Isolating yourself and looking inward while you're keeping an eye on somebody else. Group two. I should tell my husband to get me food since he's a dick. Just saying. He has access to food that I don't. Let's see. Oh, first advice card for you, group two. Yeah, someone's feeling left out in the cold. Having to drag on the liability, right? Like, I feel like someone is really, like, they're not happy. But they're okay. There's, but it's like this magician reversed. Shooting some sort of negativity off. And I don't understand that. It's like... Somebody manifested something and it came swift. Like, like, that's kind of what I'm getting right here. Like, whatever they messed up, they messed up and it came back at them quickly.
but I'm not sure where it came from. Like, she's sitting up here and she looks perfectly fine. Sure, she had to walk away. Like, is it coming to this emperor? Because they're because like the magician and the emperor both represent Aries. I don't know why Aries gets so many, but I guess since they got there first, um, it counts. You know, kind of like trials. Um, but yeah, it's like, did it come swiftly to this emperor, this Aries person? Like some sort of like bad manifestation came to them. And now someone's left out in the cold with this mute, deaf person who is more of a liability. Probably blind, too. He just falls along and runs into shit. Just, you gotta drag him everywhere. Like, that's so weird. It's like, it's almost like that badness. It really seems like it came down on this person who's being, um... Remember, what's the second advice card? Yeah, looking introspectively at your emotions as well. Taking your time out to try to control and temper them. Taking time out to understand them and keep control. What's the last advice card? Yeah, you just, you'll come out of it. You'll get out of this mind state, I think. Because you're already on the right path of um, getting away from this, I feel like. Like, you have to sever ties, you have to walk away, you have to do all of that stuff. Yeah, because the Eight of Cups came up when I was shuffling, before I shuffled for you guys too, didn't it? Yeah, you're definitely going to come out of this mentality because you're already making the right decisions. You're being grounded in what you're doing. So you're not doing anything that's out there. You're making very good logical decisions, I feel like. But it's like you, you, you just still need some more time to heal. It feels like death. Just a little bit. Let me think of someone I know. But that is the reading. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.